Today we are diving deep into the world of photo editing and AI image creation with Photor.com. This video is sponsored by Photor, I appreciate it. They wanted me to showcase their application and their desktop studio because they've got some really, really impressive new features and it makes your photo editing life so much easier and you can be really creative with their new AI image generators as well. So we're gonna dive deep into it today and see what we can create. Photor.com have been an industry leader in the market of image creation and photo editing since 2012 now. With over 550 million users, this is one of the platforms for all your photo needs. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, there's tools on this platform to help you enhance your images and to really help you be more creative on multiple platforms, social media or for your business. There's so much you can do with this. So let's dive in, see if it's worth it, see what you can do with it, and see what I can create with Photor.com. So this is what we're looking at. This is Photor.com. They have an application as well, which is just as good and features all of the same sort of recommended AI tools, adjustments, effects. There's loads of different things you can do for um, beauty. You can add frames, text, elements. There's so much you can do. We're not gonna touch all of it today, but I wanna go and sort of look at the things that I would use on a daily basis from a photo editing software. I do use other photo editing softwares daily for YouTube and for social media. And so I'm gonna try and see what I can do sort of what I'd usually use something like this for. First of all would be just image enhancement and editing. They have a one tap enhancement tool so you can just upload a photo like so and we can just press that. Just literally one click of the mouse and that's all that was. We can click on this image over here and just do the same thing. Click one tap enhancement and it will enhance it if I click on and off it. You can see what a difference I can do. And this is an image from when we went wild camping a few weeks ago. So you can see when I click that one tap enhance, it really just brings the image to life. And if you're new to photo editing, if you're just a beginner, that one tap enhance is a great, great feature. Um, so it works very well. You can of course go into the adjustments here and you've got all different basic adjustments if you wanna play around with the sliders as you do have with sort of other editing in software so there's all these denoise add structure you can add vignette um, add background blur and you can play with the curves hsl and stuff like you can do with a normal ai editor and you can play around with the curves the hsl curves and the sliders here like you can do with a normal photo editor so it is the basic a photo editor and you've got all these really clever AI tools as well. This is where it gets really, really crazy though. They've got something I've discovered called um, Old Photo Restorer. Let me just uh, show you this because I've got some old photos of when I was a kid. Now check this out. This is how cool I was. This is me on the right hand side of my cousin Sarah and I'm going to press this AI Old Photo Restorer and we're gonna press OK, and then we're just gonna press Start. And we're gonna let the computer, the AI software, and the application from Photor do its work and see the results of this. It's just absolutely bonkers. Look what this has done to the photo. It took probably about 12 seconds, 12 to 15 seconds to edit this, and you can see it just brings the whole photo to life and restores it to its original quality or the quality it would have been if we had a good camera back in, I don't know, 1996 or whatever this was. Look at the eyes, like you can see the reflection now on my cousin's eyes and it's brought my skin back to life. It's less orange, I don't know why it's like that. And it's just, just so cool. I'm gonna do another one just to show you exactly um, what this can do. Let's open another image. I've got one of, my uh, my nan here. So this is my nan. Look how grainy this image is. I'm gonna go into the old photo restorer, let the AI and everything do its work and see what how this um, AI software can actually fix this photo. Look at this, right? Photo before, photo after. That's even like quite emotional because my nan died a few years ago and seeing this sort of image brought back to life it's just balmy absolutely balmy okay let's see what else i have got some other images here this one <laughs> this one of my brother and sister and my nan let's go to the old photo restorer press start and see what the ai can create out of this 
Wow, I mean, look at the detail that it brings back into the photo. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite features of this software, I've got to say. If you've got a lot of old photos, you could upload them or scan them and put them into this software and bring them back to life. Yeah, it's, it's a really fantastic, fantastic bit of software that we can do with AI. AI isn't all bad. <laughs> uh, you know, we're, I know we're taking over the world at the moment with AI, but when it can do stuff like this, that's, that's pretty incredible. It can actually remove backgrounds for you. That's something I do a lot with photos when I'm creating thumbnails for YouTube uh, and things like that. So I've got a photo of Jake somewhere. Let's just see how quickly it can remove this background. It's got a simply one click button so we can press this background remover, let the AI do the work and then it will do the, uh, you just press apply and it's just taken the background away. So you can now move Jake around the image like this. It really, really is that simple. So that's the background remover as well. That's something I'd use all of the time. We can then download this image as a PNG and it keeps the background transparent and you can drag that into other editing softwares for editing thumbnails and stuff. So that is another fantastic feature of this software. Background blur as well. Um, I've got this image down here of me in the park and it's all quite sharp. Everything's really, really in focus. And if we want to do background blur, it's, where's background blur gone? So we can add a background blur here and you can change the blur radius up and down. It's a really good feature. This comes in very useful. I mean, look at that really good so the background is blurred just a little bit adds a bit of depth to the photo or you can do all the way to 100 and really get it blurred in the background so that's another great feature all done by ai and literally one click it's so good um it just works so fast and seamless this is probably one of the best softwares i've used just for doing these kind of things um, it really is amazing so far. Right, let's have some fun with a couple of images because we've got something called AI Claymotion. Over here you've got AI filters and you can add these different filters to your images to get really creative, do some AI different portrait, digital art, whatever you want to do. This one is really, really fun, this one. So you just literally press Claymation 1 and then let the AI generate the image for you. It takes a couple of seconds and it will pop up the image towards you and let you know sort of what this can create for you. There's lots and lots, as you can see down here, of different ways to stylize your photos. So if you're doing, I don't know, a family Christmas card or something, look, look at this, look how wild that looks. For some reason, I've got a moustache now, but I mean, look at that. That is pretty incredible, the way it can turn you into a cartoon. It's wild, it really, really is wild, and it works exceptionally well. We've got another photo here, of Jake when we're on holiday, but we've got this 3D cartoon too here, and this one was wild. Check this out, what it does to the image. Really is very creative. You can see all of these different things you've got down here to play around with. This one's amazing though, the 3D cartoon. It takes a while to generate it because it's really getting that image and just sucking all the information out of it to give you some wild, wild images. It's, um, it's pretty impressive, I've got to say. Generating, 90%. This is all live, by the way, and then we're gonna just let the computer do it. It'll pop up in just a second. Look at that. <laughs> it's just just added a so, such a cool image. It's really, really very impressive how it can generate sort of these AI images so quickly and they really could just come out so cool. So Photor.com is an amazing bit of software. There are different things like Magic Eraser, Upscale, you can AI upscale, you can remove things from images, you can de unblur faces, um, you can do AI skin retouching, you can of course dive into the beauty things. I don't really like doing beauty fixes on images, but you can do it, it's all in here if you want to do it. Add different frames. You can add film edges to these fra these different images. You can add wooden frames to these different images and text elements. There's lots and lots you can do with, um, with these images. Um, it's just all on here for you. So if you wanna check out photo.com, I will leave a link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. If you've got any discount codes or um, sort of uh, vouchers or anything, I'll let you know in the pinned comment as well so you can get a bit of discount off there 
pro membership but i really recommend it there's some super interesting stuff you can do this all the way from basic one tap editing magic erasers we've got ai skin retouch that old photo restorer is one of my favorite things about this software that is phenomenal we can have lots of fun with that also there's lots of ai image generating tools along here different ai effects different filters that we've touched on you can also do a lot of stuff for social media so there's some quick designs youtube thumbnails youtube channel art and you've also got different collages and stuff like that uh, you can see some of the stuff that i've been working on there inspiration for you templates for social media posts for business posts so so much and then uh, i didn't even mention the video aspect of the thing or maybe do a separate video on it there's so much stuff here you can actually uh, do an ai video generator here you can type in commands and it'll generate a video for you ai video enhancer portrait background remover and video object remover there's just so much to do in this software it's so so good no matter what you want to do photo have got you covered it really is an amazing application and i'm going to be using extensively going forward with all my social media and youtube stuff i do here on this channel so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it check out photo.com there will be a link in the description down below thanks for photo for sponsoring this video that's it for this one if you like these kind of videos make sure you check out this one over here and you might like this one up here as well appreciate you i'll see you in the next one bye guys